Thank you. 614 right now, and as part of Severe Weather Preparedness Week, WWT 6 News is giving you the key information you absolutely need to know to survive a big storm. Yeah, Jenna Janes joins us now with some things you may want to consider throwing in your emergency kit. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, guys. We all know that in your emergency kit, you should have something like band-aids for uh, quite a while and then also like a flashlight, but that's just the beginning. Keep in mind, when Pilger was hit hard by tornadoes, families needed to get have needed more than a few things to get by. So while that flashlight might get you through the night, you need something more. It's why the Red Cross has a few other things to think about. The Red Cross recommends that you have things like food and water, uh, basic medications you may need, uh, copies of important papers and things of that nature. Now, other things you want to consider, a change of clothes and shoes for your whole family. If you're walking around debris for a few days, you're bound to get holes in those shoes, so make sure you have an extra pair for everyone. It's also a good idea to have something like a blanket, cutlery, and, sil and plates and silverware, gloves for dealing with any sort of debris, an entire stocked first aid kit. You're also going to want to make sure you have food, a uh, uh, AM FM radio so you can continue to monitor every situation, a whistle, and batteries so that way you can keep every everything powered again that also includes making sure that you have an external power pack for your phone because Dave Jordan you can never have too many of these things to make sure that your family can stay safe. Yeah, Jen it's all good stuff to have but it, it's also a lot of stuff to have. Huh. Do they say where we should store this all? Earlier we talked a little bit about how you should outline a plan with your family of where that emergency place to meet is going to be so keep this there if that's your basement or your storm shelter this is the perfect spot to put that. All right, good information there, Jenna Janes. Thank you so much. So, so much that you don't think about the, the utensils, mm. the whistle for if you are trapped, and the, that way people can come and find you. It's just stuff that you need to keep at the forefront. I like the, the extra charge pack for our phones. I mean, we're so connected to them these days, and that's how you alert people yeah. if you're in trouble. Another thing, too, that I mentioned when I go on school talks is the shoes, because you, you, these uh, tornadoes will happen late afternoon and evening. You're, you're at home. You're probably in socks and bare mm. feet. Especially during the summer. If yeah. you're, if the, a tornado does go through, there's a lot of debris everywhere. You want some shoes to protect your feet if you have to come out from wherever your safe spot is. Absolutely.